Hello everyone, this is Jasmina, and in this video I'm going to talk about what, or a question that many people have, what is the best type of date selection? I've already discussed several types, and um, if you actually compare them all, what you'll find is there's a lot of conflicting information. On any given day, some may say it's a good day, some may say it's a great day even, and some may say it's a terrible day. And, uh, you know, the different date selections have different methods of calculating what kind of day it is. And when I first saw that, I, I was a bit baffled and um, didn't quite understand how it worked. So, you may say, okay, if you've got all these different ones, which one is right or correct? Well, uh, after listening to a bunch of different people and a little bit of experience, the answer appears to be based on the person using the date selection. That is, some people, uh, certain types work better for certain people, and, it, and other people it doesn't work for. You know, so it's one of those weird things and nobody really knows why. So there are people who have a real affinity to using the 12 day officers. Um, I actually went through Joey Yap's um, personalized date selection, went through the hassle of putting that all into an Excel program to do a full year's calculation for me. And um, I didn't really find it useful. And then I also, after my nephew was killed by the um, impaired driver, I checked that year out for him. Now, I, I, because it's such a hassle, I don't do it unless somebody asks me. And, uh, and at that time, I was still testing it out. It turned out that the day was, let's say, mediocre. It wasn't a good day, but it wasn't a bad day like a dozen days earlier in the year and, and he was killed in the middle of summer. And uh, they were good, they were, there were a lot of days that were really good, there were a lot of days that were really bad, much worse than the day he was killed. Uh, so I just think he was in the wrong place at the wrong time, that, that does happen. So let's just say, I, I don't seem to have an affinity, nor does my nephew, or did he, uh, um, using the 12 day officers. But there are some people who this really works for, and that's fine. I have nothing against it um, because it works for some people. Others may have better results with the black rabbit dates or the yellow and black belt dates, and I'm going to be talking about these uh, in the future but I need to learn a little bit more uh, to see the pattern so I can discuss it properly. There's also the Xuancong Dagua dates, which I've just finished a bunch of videos about. Uh, those, you know, look at, you can look at the day itself, or you can look at a certain portion of your house that is a bit of the Xuancong, but largely, what we're referring to here is the things like the seven star robbery, the HER2, the combo 10, or the combo 5 or 15. Dates of a, the day pillar of a day we're living in compared to your personal, um, usually year pillar. So, uh, and so you're looking for those combinations. And there are some people who really like these, and I can understand why, because there is a certain magic in the 64 hexagram ring, or I don't want to say magic. Let's say it has a lot of balance to it. So it's very a very balanced yin and yang kind of thing. Now, there's also uh, the dong gong dates, which I've talked about. These are dates that really apparently only apply to starting a new important project. You can make a lot of progress and a bad, quote unquote bad, uh, dong gong date, as long as it's not a new project. So, so like the 12 day officers may be better for 
how well you're doing on a given date on a problem you already are working on, but starting it, you want to start it on a good dong gong date. So, um, so sometimes you do combine these things. Unfortunately, there doesn't seem to be a way to predict which person will respond best to which type of date selection. Like for example, it doesn't depend on your day master or it doesn't depend on your year animal sign or any one of your animal signs. So this is something you basically have to experiment with. And so that is basically my recommendation if you want to do this. Most of these methods aren't terribly hard, so they can be done. Uh, and I would say start with a method that you feel some sort of kinship with. Now, there are also um, places, there's S metaphysics, S the letter S, as in Sam. Uh, metaphysics actually has a product that is the Atze, um date selection. Uh, it's not terribly expensive, but it's not cheap by any sense of the thing, but they can give you everything. You can do that for a year or two and you can see which one works best for you. You know, keep some notes. But I would still start with the method that you feel some sort of kinship with, that you just somehow think it's going to be the one. And you're going to, you're going to, I mean, if you learn just a little bit about it, you somehow, somehow it re re resonates with you. You say that this makes sense. And that's the one I would recommend you start with. Now, if this is a good method for you, you will see it. You will see results. You will get better results when you use a good day um, or you will, have, you will have a more productive day on one of the good days. Now, if you're still uncertain, try the other methods too. It, it certainly doesn't hurt. Now, you also might find that if you do this for others, if you, and, and you can actually make money doing this. You know, I encourage somebody else to do it. I, I'm not going to be doing this. It's um, a lot of work, uh, and I already have enough work. Um, you may find that uh, a certain type of date selection that works for you doesn't necessarily work for other people. So uh, this can be a little tricky, um, and this is one reason why I, I'm not going to do it um, other than for my immediate you know, family, if they're interested. So that's it. I'd like to thank you for watching. I do have a coffee store, and if you find any of the information on any of my videos, and you're not a member, but you find information useful, you can donate to me at the coffee store and they don't take a commission. The, there is a commission involved with the actual credit card interaction, but they don't take a separate commission. So this is this place, if you're going to donate uh, and you because you like the videos, this is the place to do it. I have a lot of information at the, on this pay hip store, but at ultimately I hope to get everything onto the coffee store. It will take a while because there's a lot of stuff to transfer. But I'd like to thank you again for listening.